New York Republican Congressman Mike Lawler is a member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, good to see you. Let me get you, uh, first of all, to react to the news that uh, the governor of New York uh, issued just a short time ago that in connection with online threats of mass shooting and violence, a person of interest has been taken into custody and is being questioned by police. Well, obviously, law enforcement here in New York and across the country uh, needs to crack down on the vile anti-Semitism that is raging on these college campuses. Uh, it's why I introduced legislation earlier this year, uh, the Stop uh, Anti-Semitism on College Campuses Act, which would defund institutions of higher uh, learning uh, that allow for this rank anti-Semitism to permeate their campuses in sanctioned events. Uh, yes, people have a right to free speech, but we don't have to fund it. Uh, and uh, just last week, Josh Gottheimer, a Democrat uh, from mm -hmm. New Jersey, and I introduced the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act, which would require the Department of Education uh, to adopt the IRA definition of anti-Semitism uh, for its discrimination enforcement cases. Mm -hmm. uh, this is out of control. You have uh, folks who are clearly ignorant uh, of the situation in the Middle East. Uh, chanting from the river to the sea, uh, Palestine will be free. Uh, I, I mean, look, Israel has a right to exist. They have a right to defend themselves. The mm -hmm. Jewish people have a right to practice their faith. Uh, and what is happening in college, uh, on college campuses across this country uh, in, in, in response to Hamas's vile, disgusting, barbaric terrorist attack uh, on Israel, the slaughtering of women, children, babies. Uh, it, it's disturbing. It's disgusting. Uh, and these ignorant students that we have on these college campuses in America uh, need, to, need to wake up uh, and realize uh, what is actually happening mm. in the world. You know, we wanted to get a perspective on what it's like to be a Jewish student at Cornell University. So earlier on America's Newsroom, I spoke to Jeremy Zarge and Molly Goldstein. Here's what they told me life is like at an Ivy League campus these days. What we're seeing is absolutely terrifying and it's reminiscent to just some of the most terrible times of Jewish history. Even with police, you know, it's still frightening. We're trying to go about our daily lives and we're trying to continue to be proud and stay strong as our Jewish selves, but it, it's still scary. You, you know, Congressman, when you see all of this anti-Israeli uh, or anti-Israel rhetoric and anti-Semitism, rising on college campuses. You pair that together with what happened at that airport in Dagestan, Russia, the other day. And, and people could be forgiven for thinking that, you know, this is 1938 all over again. No question. Those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And we are seeing uh, just some vile, disgusting uh, rhetoric that is being used on these college campuses uh, people uh, living in fear right now that they're going to be attacked or assaulted because they're Jewish. You know, I, I'm an Italian-Irish Catholic uh, from New York. Uh, I represent one of the largest Jewish communities in America in my congressional district. People should not be afraid to practice their faith. They should not be afraid uh, to be who they are um, and, and to be hated and discriminated against simply because uh, of their faith. Uh, yeah. It's disturbing, uh, and it is something that we as a society need to crack down on, uh, you know, and people cannot hide behind free speech mm -hmm. uh, in, in promulgating uh, these vile attacks against uh, people of the Jewish faith or any faith, for that matter. We, we, we are awaiting in, in the minutes ahead uh, the White House briefing uh, today with John Kirby and Corinne Jean-Pierre, but let me flash back to yesterday when our Peter Ducey uh, ev evoked the often used word extremist uh, from the White House uh, and turned it around and asked Karine Jean-Pierre this question. Listen here. Does President Biden think the anti-Israel protesters in this country are extremists? What I can say is what we've been very clear about this. When it comes to anti-Semitism, there is no place. We hear you guys, though, talk about extremists all the time. It is usually about MAGA extremists. So what about these protesters who are making Jewish I've students feel very, unsafe very on college campuses? Are they extremists? I've been very, very clear. We are calling out any form of hate.
Uh, apparently, Congressman, there are plenty of extremists, mega extremists in the House GOP conference, uh, yet there don't appear to be any, according to the White House, at these college campuses. Listen, this is an administration that called parents uh, domestic terrorists for wanting to go to school board meetings and ask questions about their children's education. Uh, but people that are terrorizing uh, Jews are, are not extremists. Uh, you know, that word gets thrown around a lot. Mm -hmm. But let's be clear. Anyone who cannot condemn Hamas, anybody who stands in support of the brutality uh, that was inflicted upon the Jewish people in Israel, anybody who stands on these college campuses repeating vile lies that Israel bombed a hospital, any member of Congress uh, who would repeat that vile lie despite getting a classified briefing uh, that showed very mm -hmm. clearly that that did not happen, uh, they are unfit, they are extreme, uh, and we need to crack down on those folks uh, who who have entered into uh, this disgusting display uh, in recent weeks. Congressman Mike Waller of the Empire State, good to